Grand Risings. <clears throat> Grand Risings. Good morning. Nope. Grand Risings. Woke up today. Move a little slow. Got a little sluggish in me. So I'm trying to just, I'm getting that out by partly doing this. Um, I just, what was I dreaming about? I was really just not dreaming too much about specific dreams, but just more about my like, like reflecting still on my life. I'm like, man, what would I do to continue to create communities and stuff like that? So an idea I had come up with was what was a spa, like a Grecian style spa to where it's like bathhouses and um, massages and uh, about as far as the thought goes. And just have it so it's like, people are like, no, like, okay, like this is like a, a culturally significant relaxation point. Uh, definitely feel as, as a culture, we don't relax enough or rejuvenate ourselves enough, um, men and women. So that's why I kind of came up with that because it would be um, significant in that way. And uh, so, yeah, I just put it in a uh, location, location, location. That's a, that's a phrase. So, um, other than that, yeah, I was just, uh, still, like, I just had that kind of, like, like that brain dump yesterday. And then I went to sleep. Then I woke up this morning, and somebody had sent me this Google Drive with all of these stock market investment and, uh, books like it probably had like 20 to 30 books in there which is really cool because like i said i'm building a library so i have more books for my library and that is like that's definitely the way to go because i'll probably i'll probably try to get physical versions of all of these books but now that i know about them i should take out properly I'll get physical versions of all of these books. And so now that I know about them, I can do so and put them into the endowment for the library, the collection of books that are useful. Because once I do have the books themselves, especially the ones concerning stocks markets, I'd be able to use them to endow the rest of the library because I can use the information inside of the stock books to manage the fund, which grows the amount of money, one, in the library's account, and then also, to the amount of books in the account. So that's just how most institutions or universities um, manage, like, manage their resources is they invested in the stock market through an endowment or of a foundation, and then that's how they grow it. That's why they, how the institution stays wealthy. So a lot of these companies, a lot of these colleges and institutions or companies or nonprofits, they own lots of stocks that pay dividends. Oh, and bonds. And, 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 and securities in general. So, um, today I am simply looking for other things that I need to clear out to get ready for this next week, uh, I'll, this next month. And also, I'll do some forecasting with my finances, projections like what bills do I have coming up? What income do I have coming up? It's uh, basically like pro forma cash flow statement for I don't know why I said basically or like, because that's not the simple version of it. That is a pro forma cash flow statement for the next 30 days. Bills, income, profit, revenue, liabilities. Do that. Um, we 
huge amounts of money I could allocate to my portfolio. Um, think about better ways to be a friend and make music. I remember the guys thinking on this one, I'm like, I can't smell dope. I went all the way. You know, no, yeah, all the way. Oh, yeah. It's, I can't smell no dope. I went all the way. You don't know, then fall away. You don't know what I know, so fall away. I can't smoke no dope. I went all the way. You don't know what I know. Fall away. Fall away. Fall away. I can't smoke no dope. I went all the way. You don't know what I know. Fall away. Fall away. Fall away. That's what I thought of. Do something with that snippet. Uh, uh, everything's on track. Clean out the house. Got rid of those extra clothes. It was funny. I got, it was ironic. I got rid of those extra clothes only to come to the uh, decision-making process of I'm about to buy a new shirt. And then I thought about it, I was like, that's externally motivated. The only reason I wanted to buy a new shirt was because those police were grilling me about, oh, you don't look professional enough for for their opinion. So I was like, let me get, the, get a company shirt. Even though it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't like an internally created decision it was just something that was a reaction uh, not a response and so I was like man I just gave all these clothes away so I'm about to buy more clothes and regardless of the amount it's like wait a minute there's probably a pattern forming here of you just you just got rid of this and now the same type of item is about to you about to bring it back in? No, think about it. Like, slow down because you can't get the shirt anytime. You didn't need the shirt before. You won't need it now. But you're about to spend money on it. So what, what else could that money be spent on? Because you don't want to make, uh, you know, every dollar counts. It's precious. So we can snap decisions because of some person who has no influence on your life or your anything they weren't even in the right county so it's just interesting to think like how I, how I just was like man I just my mom came over and me and her met up and she took the clothes and was taking them to Goodwill or somewhere to donate them and I'm like man and now I'm about to buy more clothes something doesn't seem right about this picture um, yeah, so, that's that, uh, this video's not really been that long, I only think that maybe I could, uh, finish printing out all the rest of my dreams, I ran out of ink, uh, when I was doing it, so, um, there's that, and also, about it that's about it so just very uh easy going Sibia. like this video make sure to subscribe 
ring that bell, leave a comment. Farewell.